إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له جل عن الشبيه والمثيل والند والنظير وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوب عليه ونتوب إليه ونعوذ بالله العظيم من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا, وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد We praise our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We thank him We seek his help, his guidance, his forgiveness Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses with guidance and Islam, then no one can misguide. And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves to go astray due to that person turning away from Allah, his signs, his mercy, then no one can guide. We testify that no one has the right to be worshipped except him alone. And that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger and his servant. To proceed, my beloved brothers, it is from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he starts the khutbah with these three ayats that we just recited. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu attaqu Allah. And this is the main purpose of Ramadan. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun. Fasting is prescribed upon us for which purpose so that we can may we may attain taqwa. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ And now it is half way through Ramadan and we only have 14 nights to go perhaps 13 or 14 more tarawih 14 or 13 nights to recite the Quran and to connect with it to give sadaqah, to fast and it's very important to evaluate now and today Am I achieving the main objective and the main purpose behind Ramadan? Ramadan is not about leaving food and drink. If we are not able to leave the sins, the dhunub and the ma'asi. Ramadan is not about thinking about the poor people. When during Adhan times we are extravagant and we indulge and over eat and not purify ourselves by giving to the poor it's not about leaving food and water if we don't leave bad language and bad behavior and bad characteristics and argumentations with people Man lam zur, the Prophet وسلم, said the one who does not leave foul language wal bihi, and acting foolish Allah is not in need and for him to leave the food and the water. The reality is, my beloved brothers, that sins, al-dunub, and the ma'asi is the main reason behind many of our problems in our lives. It is the main reason behind so much destruction in this world. And it is the main reason behind the effects and the problems that exist in society. And today this is our topic. Our topic is about the effects and the consequences of sins. It's important we remember this because many of us may become heedless. 
many of us may not take sin seriously. Many of us don't understand why things happen in life and perhaps by reminding ourselves of the harms and the effects of sins that we may remember and take heed and perhaps repent and return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sins, my beloved brothers, if it, en if it enters a house, it would ruin it. If it enters the heart, it will blind and misguide it. If it enters the body, it will poison it. If it's widespread in the ummah, then it will disgrace it. We will have a disgraceful ummah. And if it enters the nafus and the souls, then it will be harmed and poisoned and affected. There are 10 main impacts of sins. There are many more, but 10 impacts that we will quickly go through ta'ala. From the impacts of the ma'asi and the noob is that it removes the barakat, it removes the blessings in our lives. It removes ease from our life. It removes the blessings in our wealth, in our businesses, in our children, in our work, in our studies, in our health. It removes it because when someone performs the good deeds, he is grateful to Allah. And Allah Azza wa Jal will safeguard and protect his blessings. But the one who sins is not grateful to Allah for the blessings he gave him. He has a body that Allah gave him, a tongue, an eyesight, wealth, and he uses all of these blessings fi ma'asiyatillah rather than fi ta'atillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَوْ أَنَّ أَهْلَ الْقُرَىٰ آمَنُوا وَاتَّقُوا لَفَتَحْنَ عَلَيْهِمْ بَرَكَاتٍ مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ لَفَتَحْنَ عَلَيْهِمْ بَرَكَاتٍ مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلَكِنْ كَذَّبُوا فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says if, these, if the people of the town were to believe and have taqwa of Allah, consciousness of Him and follows their, His commandment and abstains from what is forbidden, لَفَتَحْنَ عَلَيْهِمْ Allah the provider, He will open the doors, He will open the skies and He will make the blessings descend upon these people. مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ From the heavens and the land. وَلَكِنْ كَذَّبُوا However, they denied. فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ So they were taken by surprise. بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Due to the sins that they have committed. Allah Azza wa Jal is just. He does not punish anyone unjustly. But due to this, أَخَذْنَاهُمْ They were taken due to the sins that they have committed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ظَهَرَ الْفَسَادُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ يُضِيقَهُمْ بَعْضَ الَّذِي عَمِلُوا لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ ظَهَرَ الْفَسَادِ The facade, the evil and the corruption and the mischief has become widespread in the land and in the oceans. بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ Due to the sins and the evil that was committed by individuals, the oceans. The governments are speaking about climate change today. Pollution, diseases, coronavirus, millions of people died. Why did this happen? Bima kasabat aidin nas. Due to the evil that some people committed, due to the wars, due to the injustice, due to the killings, due to the oppressions, due to the shirk billah, due to worshipping besides Allah, due to committing sins. لِيُضِيقَهُمْ بَعْدَ الَّذِي عَمِلُوا So they will taste a portion. They will taste a portion of the punishment. الَّذِي عَمِلُوا Due to what they have committed. لَعَلَّهُمْ Perhaps some of them will take heed and return back to Allah and repent to Him. Coronavirus is a big sign for us to reflect and fear Allah Azza wa Jal and to know لا حول ولا قوة إلا به he is the most powerful. He is capable of doing anything. No government, no army, no military has the capabilities that Allah Azza wa Jal has. And it has shaken the world, destroyed economies, made governments panic through an invisible 
cell, something that we can't even see with the naked eye. Allah Azza wa Jal is teaching us, لَعَلَّهُمْ يرجعون. Perhaps we can return back to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَضَرَبُ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا قَرِيَةً كَانَتْ آمِنَةً مُطْمَئِنَّ يَأْتِيهَا رِزْقُهَا رَغَدًا مِنْ كُلِّ مَكَانٍ Allah Azza wa Jal gives us an example of a village or a town. Mutma'inna, safe and secure. And provision and blessings is ascending upon the town and the people from every place. Fakafarat. It denied and it disbelieved. Bi an'umillah. Fa'adhaqahu Allahu libas al ju'i wal khawfi. Bima kanu yasna'oon. Bima kanu yasna'oon. They committed so many sins. They did not acknowledge Allah Azza wa Jal. They denied Him. Allah made them taste libas al poverty, destruction, wal khawf, no security due to the sins that they have committed. So, sins, my beloved brothers, it removes the blessings from your life. Number two, sins. It removes, like I said, the blessings from your life. And this is the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum. When things go bad in their life, they will say, They will know the reason. And they will know exactly which sin was committed. And they will connect it to each punishment that happens. When even their camels and their horses weren't listening to them. When their families are not obeying them they would know these are the effects of our sins. So likewise, we should see the same when things are going wrong, too much stress, complication, too many family problems, struggles with our children, struggles with our tijara. Reflect, repent to Allah, make istighfar, pause. Don't become the ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says are heedless. لَقَدْ كُنْتَ فِي غَفْلَةٍ لَقَدْ كُنْتَ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مِّنْ هَذَا فَكَشَفْنَ عَنْكَ غِطَاءَكَ فَبَصَرَكُ الْيَوْمَ حَدِيدٍ You are upon heedlessness. You are not mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are signs for us to reflect and to return back to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, from the effects of sins is that it leads to other sins. It's very difficult to give up sins. When you are committing one sin, do not think it's just one sin. That sin will lead you to more evil. And likewise, the good deeds lead you to more good deeds. And we know this and learn this from the Quran, the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. That due to one, you can argue, minor sin that they had. It started with one so-called minor sin, which is they had bad thoughts and jealousy of their brother Yusuf. They said, how can my father love him more than us and we are much more than him? Our father is upon Dalal and Mubin. Great error. So it's done. Maybe someone can say it's nearly natural. Okay, something we have to, we all have to deal with and fight sometimes. But this sin led them to attempt to murder their own brother, their own brother. Division. Attempted to kill another person due to this one sin. They lied. They falsified evidence with the shirt and they put fake blood. They lied to their father for so long. Due to one sin, they ended up committing many more sins. From the effects of sins, my beloved brothers, number three, is that it will inherit a dhil, disgrace, on the person. A person becomes low due to the sins that he committed. So the ma'asiyah, the sins, it will even become apparent on the person's face. Some of the companions, a person will walk in and they will know this person is a fasiq. This person commits so many sins. And another person can commit so many good deeds in secret. Quran and Qiyam and Istighfar and you will see Noor in his face signs from their face so from the effects of the sin is that it disgraces the person from someone who has a high position he will have a low position low status Allah Azza wa will lower him 
Allah will take the love of the people for this person from their hearts. It will bring a dhil for that person. Number four. Is that al ma'asi it blinds the heart. Sins, it blinds the heart. As our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, the authority of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an, he said, Inna al abda idha adnaba dhamba nukitat fi qalbihi nuktatun sawda. The person, when he commits a sin, Allah puts in his heart a black dot. Just one black dot. فَإِنْ تَابَ But if that person, he repents and he stops this sin وَاسْتَغْفَرْ and he seeks forgiveness then Allah will purify his heart Allah would remove that black dot وَإِنْ عَادَ زَادَتْ But if he returns and he continues with the sin then these black dots will increase and it will accumulate and it's like a virus when you have too many of these dots, it will cover the heart. Hatta ta'lu wa Until his heart is blind. فَذَلِكَ الرَّانُ الَّذِي ذَكَرُ اللَّهُ فِي الْقُرْآنِ The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ran is mentioned in the Quran. This is exactly what it is. When the heart is fully covered. Kalla bal rana ala qulubihim ma kanu yaksibun. Their hearts will be covered with blackness due to what they have committed. This is the effect of the sins, that it can blind and cover our hearts. Number five from the effects of sins is that it decreases the ta'zeem of Allah Azza wa Jal in the hearts of the individual. We know Allah Azza wa Jal is the Almighty. We know He is the one who watches us. We know He is the one who created us who sees us in secret. And the one who sins, the ta'zeem of Allah, the greatness of Allah in that person's heart decreases because he does not fear Allah Azza wa Jal. And he does not care about disobeying Him, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And like one of the companions, Bilal radiallahu anhu, he said, لا تنظر إلى صغر الخطيئة ولكن انظر إلى من عصيت He said, do not look at the size of your sin. It's just a sin. Allah is Ghaffar. Allah is Ar-Rahman. Allah will forgive. Do not think like this. وَلَكِنْ أُنْدُرْ إِلَى مَنْ However, look at the one who you disobeyed. The one we disobeyed is great. Even though this sin is small. So be careful from belittling the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is worse than the sin itself. A sin Allah will forgive. But belittling Allah Azza wa Jal and trying to deceive Allah Azza wa Jal is a major problem. This is what we need to be careful from. Number six, from the effects and the impacts of sins. Dihab al haya Modesty and shyness, which the Prophet said, Khayrun kullu, it is everything good about al haya modesty. From the best akhlaq is to have modesty and shyness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. al haya khayrun kullu, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. So when someone sins, that haya, that muru'a, that dignity, that respect that someone has is belittled, is removed. So the one who commits this sin and he feels happy and proud there is no respect for that person. Number seven, from the effects of sins, my beloved brothers, is that it is the main re reason for a dhiq walham, for problems and issues in our life, and depression, and misery, and sadness. Many people are complaining about depression today. It's on a massive rise. Read the statistics on the NHS. They can't cure it. And a Muslim says, I am depressed, I am sad. But he does not read the Quran, and he does not pray, and he does not give sadaqah, and he sins day and night. 
and you want a hayat and tayyiba, a hayat and tayyiba comes with amal salih and fear of Allah. And when you do i'tirad, you are away from the remembrance of Allah. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً دَنْكَ The one who turns away from Allah, does not remember him. فَإِنَّ لَهُ Indeed, he will have a difficult life. Allah wants us to be happy. يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ Allah wants ease for you. He does not want hardship. طَاهَا مَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْقُرْآنَ لِتَشْقَى The Qur'an was not revealed so you can despair. Rather, the one who holds the Qur'an will never despair. He will always be happy. But the real, real reason for depression and misery is the ma'asi and the dunub. أَقُولِ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ لِي وَلَكُمْ الْعَظِيمِ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوهُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين from the impact and the effects of sins that the scholars mention is that it is the reason for punishments to arrive and it is the real reason behind sicknesses, illnesses and viruses. And one of the companions said that I heard the Prophet say, إِذَا ظَهَرَتَ الْمَعَاصِي فِي أُمَّتِي If the sins are widespread in my ummah, then Allah Azza wa Jal will send a'adhaab min indihi Allah will send a punishment from him so this as our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said that the sins are the reasons for illnesses and punishments and the scholars also mention that the sins is the reason behind the beauty of the person to be removed from his face and success being removed and productivity being affected. Sins brings dhil as we mentioned. And as our great companion Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, we do not fear the enemies in the battlefield. We do not fear them. But rather we fear our own sins that could be the cause for victory not to be granted. And we live in a time where Muslims are large in numbers, but we are weak and we are disgraced and we are overpowered by oppressors and tyrants and by wrongdoers so perhaps it is time for us as a ummah to wake up and to seek forgiveness and to start with our own selves it could be your sin that is delaying the victory it could be our sin that is stopping our duas to be answered so it is time to start with ourselves and our families and our societies and our communities. The solution, my beloved brothers, Allah Azza wa Jal gives us a beautiful solution. لِكُلِّ دَاءٍ دَوَاءٍ The Prophet said, every problem has a solution, every illness has a cure. Our solution is tawbah, my beloved brothers. A tawbah azimah. Tawbah is from the greatest matters and greatest blessings. It is to return back to Allah, even if you are the biggest sinner, you can become a pious person. Allah Azza wa Jal will delete every single sin. The one who repents from a sin is as if he did not sin at all. Do not lose hope and despair from the mercy of Allah. Allah will forgive all the sins collectively. He is the one who forgives. He is the most merciful. He is the most forgiven. Allahumma khfir lana dunubana. وكفر عنا سيئاتنا اللهم اجعلنا من المتقين الصادقين التوابين اللهم ارحمنا برحمتك يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعلنا من الصادقين اللهم تقبل منا الصيام والقيام وتلاوة القرآن اللهم تقبل منا هذا الشهر يا رب العالمين اللهم توفنا مسلمين اللهم كن بعوننا اللهم كن بعوننا وعون إخواننا المستضعفين في كل مكان في اليمن وفي كشمير وفي بورما وفي شرق تركستان 
وفي فلسطين اللهم انصر إخواننا في فلسطين اللهم حرر الأقصى يا رب العالمين اللهم عليك بالظالمين اللهم عليك بالظالمين اللهم عليك بالظالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين قوموا للصلاة يرحمكم الله